that one right there, that's the super male. That's a female. So the female and the juveniles usually they have a spot by the tail. Uh, earmuffs, they can, you, so you can get these guys. You can find them in natural habitat. In pretty much any Indo-Pacific tropical warm waters, they're reef safe. Size about four inches. Um, tank size, uh, I'll recommend something about 100 gallons in plus. Uh, community, they're not aggressive. They can be with other fish, no problem. Other races also. They're social animals, so they live in groups in the wild. Keep hiding behind that. There you are. Food, you can give them a... They have a small mouth, so... They're, they're predators for small crustaceans, inverts, uh, little worms. Also, they can eat uh, fish larvae or small, very tiny fish though. Like, so fish larvae. Um, biology. Um, you can find them in pretty much near sand beds, rubble, where there's a lot of inverts, uh, estuarines, uh, reef flats. They like to bar themselves in the sand. Right now I don't have sand because it's just a quarantine, but they're going to a, a tank with sand very soon if they don't get sold. Um, they're born as females and then later on they change to, to males. Uh, usually there's there's a super male and then a bunch of females. There's males in transition to super male. And then depending on the dynamics of the group, there will be another male taking place of the super male. Uh, in quarantine, they don't really, they're not big fans of copper. Anything have a lower concentration, about 0.3 or so. If we're talking about cuprimine, and cuprimine will be less aggressive than ionic copper. So I'll recommend that. But if anything, if you could do chloroquine, do chloroquine. Uh, they can tolerate hyposalinity also. Uh, about 1.016 for about 10 days or so. Uh, what else? Lifespan. About 10 to uh, 7, uh, a lifespan about 7 to 8 years. 